Personally, I've been coming to Gahati in the northeast actually since my first year here in, in 2017-18. So I love this area. Um, we've obviously got connections into Wild Masher, into Kaziranga, uh, into Shillong. So personally, I, I love everything about it. I love the food, I love the culture, I love the dance. I'm trying to practice my Bihu dance um, so that we can put it in full flow uh, later in the season. From a team perspective, the conditions are fantastic. So you have brilliant wickets here, which is why you normally get 200 plus scores here. If you speak to Shimron Hetmeyer, it's one of his happiest memories was his century here, um, whenever it was five years ago. So I think from a player perspective, it's incredibly positive. And when I look at last season, one of the biggest highlights of our entire playing group was actually the, the river boat um, that we did at the start of the season. Everyone's probably seen the Yuzi Chahal Joe Root dance that went viral on social media on that boat. The guys, it brought the guys together so powerfully. Um, and so everyone's honestly really, really excited to come back. And from our perspective, having a bit of a longer gap between the matches, we play on the 15th and the 19th, which means on the 16th we're able to explore a bit more of the Northeast, see some of the fantastic areas here, and show off those areas to the world. Because that's the lucky position we're in, is we have a platform that reaches hundreds of millions of people. And so what we want to do this year is show off more of those amazing places in the Northeast to the broader IPL community. Agreed, agreed. So I think one thing we will be doing is we will be having a, an open practice session when we're here. So that enables, and we're going to make sure that the local players are able to come to that. So, you know, in the stands we will be able to have fans, but also local players who will be able to see the, to see the um, players practice up close, see how they prepare for the, the top level competition. So that will be one thing to bring them closer to the action. The second is the Kumar Sangakara mentoring session with the under-19s and under-16s. So again, learning from one, one of the greats of all time. Um, I think that should be incredibly motivational to them. Um, so I think through these different elements, and of course watching the matches as well, will ensure that some of the young players coming through the system can come and enjoy um, at the top level. As you say, the match a couple of days ago in Kolkata was spectacular. Uh, the highest ever run chase in the IPL and I think this season across the board the IPL has gone to new levels in terms of run scored but also you know the, the competitive nature of it. There have been so many tight finishes and if you look we're playing Punjab and Kolkata here. Both of those matches have gone down to the last ball. Both Punjab and Kolkata in the last two games have been so so close so we're hoping for, for more spectacular displays here when we play the two games later in the year. Sure, so, so selection of the players will be, will be done by the ACA. Um, there will be between 30 and 40 players attending the session and it will be sort of a 45 minute session where there's a long portion of it will be Q&A so it will give the boys, anyone who wants to ask a question, an opportunity to ask a question from Sangakara. We'll also have John Gloucester there who's our head physio, he was the physio of the India cricket team uh, when they won the World Cup um, and has vast experiences on the nutritional side of preparation and the physical side of preparation because what we've seen in the, the younger years is people purely focus on the batting and bowling. Sometimes they forget about the nutritional aspect, the health and physical aspect. So John will also be present to give some advice on those side of things. We, we certainly want to develop the cricketers of Assam. We want to give exposure as net bowlers in our high performance camps, in our trials. So there will definitely be top Assamese players in our trials building towards the next auction and in our camps, again, developing through that ecosystem. As you said, Rian has spent a lot of time in that high performance center through the off-season, and that has been a massive factor in how he's been able to take the step up to another level. We've got a, a sidearm thrower who can actually throw up to 160 kilometers an hour. So when you're preparing at that speed, it means when you come to the IPO and you face 145, 147, it doesn't feel as fast and you can adapt more quickly. So we're trying to go through every element of the value chain of cricket development to help these guys. And yes, we will be looking to support more people from Assam, more players from Assam, coming to the High Performance Center and developing through the year. Yes, there will be. Um, details of that will be shared in the coming weeks. But there will be both dance, song, full entertainment in advance of the, of the match. We want fans to come early. We want fans to have an amazing four or five hour experience of the game. And again, the ACA will be supporting us with that uh, entertainment element, ensuring that we bring all elements of the 
fantastic cultural nuances here um, onto the floor. So, yes, that will be there. Uh, challenge, well, we lost the first match last year, so <laughs> hopefully, hopefully we win both of them. Um, honestly, no, like the, the experience from a cricket perspective was, was really, really positive. As I said, the wickets are fantastic. The ACA have done some amazing work upgrading the stadium through the year as well. I think ahead of the season they'll launch the new hospitality areas which they've done a fantastic job around. So I think across the board the support's been, been brilliant, central support's been brilliant. So there's not much apart from us wanting to win both of the matches and, and send the fans home happy. Yes, so pre-registered pre users will be able to buy tickets today from 4pm. All fans will be able to buy from tomorrow at 4pm. We've introduced a new ticket level this year for students, which is at 500 rupees. So there will be a, a set allocation of student tickets available. They will be from the box office, so they won't be available from tomorrow because we want to do that once the box office is launched later, um, a bit nearer the game. But yeah, the 500 rupee ticket is a new initiative from us to ensure that students can come gain access to this amazing experience. Other tickets will start at a thousand rupees um, and, and progress up through the through the different areas. But um, yeah, we think we've created a really good pricing strategy that enables as many people as possible to come and enjoy these games. But yeah, the student pricing at 500 rupees is a new initiative for this year. And and anyone who buys tickets for the Punjab match will have first access to the Kolkata tickets. So the Punjab tickets will go online first. If you buy tickets for the Punjab game, you will have first access to the Kolkata match, which will go on live a little bit later. Yeah, we'd, we'd love to have more players from Assam coming through onto the IPL stage. Same with Rajasthan, I think. Our passion as a franchise is developing talent. And if you look over the last 15 years, 17 years, we've developed, I think, over 15 players who've gone on to play for India. We've had more players who are debuting with us than I think any other franchise. So that is our, our mantra, is we want to support the Indian cricket team. We want to be the best developers of talent for the Indian cricket team. We currently have the most number of contracted players in the Indian cricket team. So the more we can do to help the Indian cricket ecosystem, the better for us. And Assam is a major part of that. So we'd love more players not just to be in the IPO in the future, but more players from Assam to be in the Indian team in the future. And we're keen to support that as much as we can. I think just in terms of the next, so I think uh, Ranjit Bhattakor, our chairperson, will be coming out to Gahati around the 26th or 27th of April, and he is very much looking forward to, to meeting you all then. He's sorry that he couldn't be here today, um, but he's very excited to being back in Gahati and meeting you all, I think 26th or 27th of April, to talk about some more of the plans for us coming back to Gahati this year. So just a big thank you from my side to you all for coming across today. Um, I hope you all looking forward to the, to the season ahead um, and hopefully we can win two matches and really entertain the fans here in the Northeast.